Welcome, I'm Dragon. For today's quick tip, let's talk about bridge edge loops. You can access this tool under edge in edit mode or by FN F3 and search for it and command E then click bridge edge loops. The main uses for this tool include making holes, filling gaps, and making wacky shapes. To make this tool work, you just need to have at least two edges selected. Now to the side menu. First up, connect loop types. Open loop will not make a full loop, while closed loops will make a full loop. Loop pairs will help if you want to bridge multiple edge loops at the same time. Merge will merge the vertices at the center, but you can change that with the merge factor. 0.5 is at the middle, so you can do 1 to go to the one end, and 0 to go to the other one. Twist will twist the object. Number of cuts will add more geometry where you are using the bridge edge loops. The interpolation, smoothness, and profile shape will all affect the shape of the bridge edge loop, but you need to add at least one cut to be able to see it. The more cuts you have, the more it will show how it's being shaped. And finally, the profile factor. This will determine how much the profile shape will affect the bridge edge loops. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you, Patreon, and bye.